Hey folks, coming to you with a little mail day. I have actually more mail than this to show, but this took up most of the screen space, so I'm leaving the other mail for probably another video. I just want to open these three things. I'm excited about these three things. Um, I'll start with the big one first to get it out of the way. It's from an auction house. It's an auction house I enjoy. I've never had an issue with. I've always gotten pretty fair prices from the items I've won. And you'll see one or all of these up on eBay fairly soon. Actually, I might PC a couple of them. Uh, oh, it's gone. I should have he packages. I don't know if it's a single guy who runs it or if it's if he has a staff, but he packages it really well. Okay, the first lot I won consisted of a couple of Derek Jeter autographs. So we're starting off with the 2005 Ultimate Collection, Derek Jeter, Barry Larkin, PSA, Near Mint Mint 8, numbered out of 10, 3 of 10, two-color patch on the Jeter. Uh, the next one is a Jeter Rookie, 93 Tops, PSA 9, nothing too fancy. Uh, but I do think that this, even the PSA 9 value, will go up after he's inducted into the Hall of Fame. The question is, how much will it go up? And if he's inducted by a unanimous vote, like Rivera was, Mariano Rivera, will that help it even more? So, excited to get that. I, add, I have a lot of his tops uh, rookies. This is the only graded one I have. Oh, I take that back. I have the gold, uh, tops gold, that was graded by BGS. It came back a 9. I might resubmit a 2. Uh, PSA because I had a 9.5 on everything but the surface it was an 8.5 so it brought it down to a 9 but I don't think I think I don't I think PSA would give it a 10 so I might resubmit it to PSA um, oh this is another one a 97 Donra signature Millennium Marks um, near mint mint 8.5 this was there was a finite number I don't know I mean there are finite numbers of every card produced but I'm not sure how many were made. This is number 335. Nice card. It's condition sensitive because of the green. You're going to see another lot in here that is got some, probably this one, got some Jeter autographs, which I thought that last one was, but. Starting off with a PSA 8.5 near Mint Mint Plus Jeter Upton from 2005 Upper Deck Reflections. This is numbered something. I thought this was numbered. Maybe I'm wrong. Well, one's blue and one's gold. This brown, so okay. Well, maybe it's not numbered. But anyways, there you go. Nice card. Here's another BJ Upton Derek Jeter. This one's uh, graded a 6X Mint. That one is numbered out of 35. This one numbered? It's not numbered. All right, and this is, it got a 6 because of, I guess mainly because of this corner, but I'm not wholly sure if that would make it a 6. The other corners look pretty good. This one's got a little white showing. I don't know, I feel like 6 might have been a little hard on that. And then I got a once so to, this came at a great price, uh, 2018 Heritage PSA 10. And then the last card, the big card, is this one. And you know it's big because it's doubly wrapped. BBG. I might try to cross it over to PSA. But it is a beautiful card. It is a BBG 8.5 Near Mint Mint Plus 62 Tops Mantle. Get a close up of those. 
I don't think it's sheet cut. You know, P uh, BBG grades sheet cut cards. There is a little warping to this that I can see through the case that makes me think that it was in a pack at one point. Just a beautiful card. Got the subgrades. Beautiful, beautiful card. Okay, this next package I bought from uh, bought from a guy on Blowout Forums, and I just purchased another card from him that should be here in a couple of days, few days, and that card would be for my PC. Um, these I feel were a good investment right now, given the time. And his injuries start off with a. 2016 Bowman Chrome Purple 9510 Fernando Tatis Jr. Auto. Great card. I did not spend $1,200 on it. Numbered 52 out of 250. Centering got a 9, everything else. Well, 9, 9, 5, 9, 5, 10. It's a great card. This was a uh, Fernando Tatis. Autographed lots. I can package these really well, so I appreciate that. His name is John. I believe his name is John. Got an Optic Tatis Auto. A black and white negative Topps Chrome Tatis. And a Topps Chrome Purple Tatis Auto. This might be the one that I keep, actually. The other two I'm definitely putting on eBay. I don't need or really want those. Of these two, I'm more inclined to keep this one um, just because. I mean, there are a lot of reasons. Look how the signature changed over the few years. But I got I got this lot as a great at a great deal. 186 out of 250 on the tops chrome. Beautiful cards. And last one of this break is these packs, fat packs of 2018 tops update. I got five of them. I'm gonna make another video where I open four. And if I don't pull one of the big three out of the four, if I don't get either Acuna, Soto, or Glaber base out of one of the four, then I might go ahead and open the fifth one. Uh, but I'd like to keep one just for posterity's sake. You never know, one day these might be like 2011 update. $500 a pack, $600 a pack. So I'm going to put this one aside right now, and I'm going to be back with a video opening these four. Thank you very much. See you in just a little bit. Bye.